Welcome back to my garage. It is Tyler from Iron River Armory. And today we are starting on the most unique blade we have made thus far. It is the Ulak blade from the Oscar worthy movie Riddick. We're gonna be making this out of a metal file so we know the metal's good for knives. The build's gonna have a little bit of everything. We got some blacksmithing, metalworking, woodworking, the whole gambit. So it's gonna be a good challenge for our next knife. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, now that we're done with the main profiling of this, we have to recut the tang up here instead of down here. It, this is really low for the handle. It doesn't give you much of a grip and no control over it. So we're gonna recut it so the handle's up here, it gives you way more control over this thing. And then we start putting in the edge. All right, we're done with the metal work and the heat treat of the blade, and it's looking pretty good so far. Next, we have to start sanding it to get all the scale off, getting that final finished look, and then start with on the handle. I'm gonna be doing a hidden tang handle, so pretty much the tang is gonna fit into the piece of wood like that, and you won't see any of the metal for it. And then I'm gonna give it a curved profile to fit the curvature of the blade itself. All right, let's get to sanding. Okay, so last time I made a hidden tang handle, I didn't get a good fit because I was drilling with just my hand securing the handle. Now I got a vise and I've orientated the handle so the drill bit will drill at the same angle as the outline of the tang that I drew on there. So hopefully this time the handle will fit nice and snug and it will have a good look once we're done. <laughs> 